Wow, guys, it's getting really close. And I'm not even talking about the spottings of the Model 3 Project Highlands. I'm talking about the government filings preparing for the Model 3 sales in China and the rest of the world. These filings here are not leaks. They are available for everybody to see. And they're posted online just for you and I to view them like everybody else. Essentially, what it is is an EPA equivalent. And the government is trying to see if Tesla is living up to their standards and whatever they're offering on the website is exactly that. Now, surprisingly enough, they are also testing for certification of a newer version of the Model Y, but don't jump for joy just yet thinking this is the Juniper version. However, there is still a possibility that they are going to be testing it and the fact that it's coming out within a year's time really indicates that they are pushing for this newer model. For those of you guys that are more interested in a Model Y, like I said, don't jump to conclusions on either side. However, we do know that they have already begun the testing phases for the Juniper version. This pretty much falls in line with the planning phases of the Model 3 until you started seeing prototypes and production vehicles on the roads. So although we don't know if this newer version of the Model Y they are testing is going to be the Juniper version, we do know that there is going to be a different model or a revised model that is coming up fairly soon. This could be the model that I was referring to that does have the upgraded additional cameras and the new radar that's also coming in the Highland vehicles. Now, what's more interesting here is that they're mainly testing the standard range or the base model of the Model 3 and Ys. The reason that you might be seeing this higher range in the base model trims doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be increasing the battery size or the efficiency. It just means that they are using a different standard for testing. The CLTC is a little bit more lenient than the EPA strictness. I personally find that even EPA is lacking a little bit in terms of quality guidelines. So they are not strict enough. And if you're talking about CLTC, they are very similar to what Europe is doing up there. And you're not going to get anywhere near the kilometers that you would get uh, if you had to use a different standard. So if you take a look at the filings here, it shows that the Model 3 has an estimated range of 556 kilometers with the standard range base trim. And that just sounds mind-blowingly good however that is not going to be the case now for all the friends in the US here that is roughly 345 miles so it's still pretty good but it's not good enough and that is a really big difference in terms of what you're getting in China versus in Canada where we also use EPA now if you're gonna compare this to the China version of the design studio with the standard range model you will notice that they are exactly the same estimate in terms of range so there is really no improvement with this Highland model versus what is currently available. It looks like the certification really is just to ensure that Tesla does provide that range for what it's offering on the website. I don't know how CLTC is testing the Model 3s and Ys, but they must be driving under 30 miles per hour with all the electronics and air conditioning inside the vehicle turned completely off. That is just a range that I would never get in any one of my vehicles. Even in my gas car, I cannot even get that range so it's a little bit odd that it's being tested that way but for any of you guys that live in China or have experience there let me know in the comments below why it's being tested this way and how anybody is going to achieve that range so yeah I think I'm going a little bit off topic here but overall this is really fantastic news that we are starting to see filings for certifications for this Model 3 Project Highland this just solidifies all of our indicators that Project Highland vehicles the redesigned refreshed entire vehicle is just a small stretch away we've also recently been given a pretty exact timeline so if you guys are in the market to purchase within the next week or two we are very near to when the production starts on the model 3 project highlands in full capacity i discussed all about this in my previous video which i will be linking in the description below and somewhere up top there so make sure you guys click on that before you end up ordering right before the refresh happens anyways i do have a bunch of other info I want to share with you guys so make sure you guys hit subscribe and that notification bell and if you guys haven't already done so please follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE that's where I'll be discussing things outside of YouTube. This should wrap it up for this one. This is John once again. Peace out.